Hello, my name is Mary Jane Matamar. I'm the principal here at Harvard Collegiate, and I'm here to speak to you about how proud we are of Harvard's contribution to Canadian military history. We fortunately have two magnificent um, places here at Harvard where students and the community can come and remember those who lost their lives in both world wars. We have had two very special events where our whole school community has had the opportunity to highlight and remember those students and staff who lost their lives in the First World War and Second World War. A few years ago, we unveiled and rededicated the, the World War I monument at the front of the school, listing all of the students' names who lost their lives. And subsequent to that, just last year, on May 8th, we unveiled a new sculpture in the form of an H, which lists all the names of the students and staff who lost their lives in the Second World War. Both of these events were attended by dignitaries, military personnel, veterans, and the whole school community. As a graduate of Harvard Collegiate and a, and a member of the Harvard Club, I was asked to create a, a monument that would deal with the enormity of loss of 52 students of Harvard Collegiate. I was asked to write something that would appear on the monument, and I would like to read it for you. In the sculpture's embrace, May you feel the spirit of the names and see the faces of the fallen. To the boys of HCI, whose futures were taken in the Second World War, whose memories will forever be in Canada's hearts, this monument is dedicated. Hello, I am Jordan and I am a grade 12 student here at Harvard. I had had the opportunity to participate in both unveiling events and I remember I just felt so privileged and honored to be part of such a big thing. And I'm glad now that I am part of Harvard's wonderful history. Additionally at Harvard, we are fortunate to have a museum room which is looked after by one of our Harvard alumni. Hello, my name is Sid Mosco. I'm a member of the Harvard Club and I'm the curator of the Harvard Club's museum here at Harvard Collegiate. We're proud of our museum and the artifacts that relate back to the First World War. In particular, I'd like you to look at the photograph and the letter from Cecil V. Perry, who won the Military Cross. Uh, Cecil Perry died at the Battle of Vimy Ridge in April of 1917. The letter that you see was written by him on October the 18th of 1916, uh, when he was relaxing, so to speak, after having fought at the Battle of Somme. This is just one of the many artifacts we have and of which we're proud in our museum remembering the service of the students who served in the first and later the Second World War. In addition to our museum room we also have a remarkable hall of memories where students can take a look at photographs of those harbordites that went before them as part of our grade 10 civics course, we were required to come in here and we were assigned soldiers and we had to do research on a specific soldier. I remember who my soldier is still. It was um, Warrant Officer William E. Kane and I remember that he was killed in 1943 over Hamburg, Germany. And I still feel such a connection because to, to the soldiers. I mean, um, to, last year we were going through a list of soldiers names and I saw his name and I remember this kind of this start that I felt and I just it just feels like I have such a connection. The grade 10 civics class and this assignment jump-started my passion for history really and I'm planning on continuing to study history in the future.